American cheese that they okay. like you would use on a Mr. Hero Ro- yeah. uh, Roman burger. I'm gonna make Mr. Hero Roman burger. Yeah, that's gonna be better. You go, you get, you get, uh, you get a sausage roll, right? Mm-hmm. And I can deal without lettuce mm-hmm. all day. You get, you know, uh, there's actually something they're called uh, steak sizzlers. You get them in the frozen food Ooh. section. Is that they're like, like steakums? But it's got a burger in the middle. What? Yes. Where the fuck I want did you that. get this? <laughs> Any there? It's like at your local grocer in the yeah. frozen food section. <laughs> Hold on. Is that near the toilet paper section? You can you can uh-huh. get you can get sizzling steaks at your local gr- at your local grocer in the food section. Hey, sizzling steaks. Sponsor us. Sponsor us. Sponsor us. I mean, but yeah, and I don't then, think the brick cheese. This is a wild there. episode already. And then you get um uh, the the white American cheese. Mm-hmm. It's weirdly smooth. It doesn't like it doesn't have the pull. It just like it's spreads. just it spreads white American. And then you get uh it tastes what like is nothing. It? Is it Tony Wober? No, that's Tony Chattery. Wober's Ooh. Wober's uh su- sub sauce, which is just oil and herbs. Ooh, I'm into that shit. Yeah, and that's then all you, right. And then you put it all together. And then you don't pay ridiculous Mr. Hero prices. So it's not an herb infused oil. It's just oil with herbs in it. Yeah. They, they didn't it, bother to infuse it. They're I just like, I'm not got these herbs. I got this oil. Just stuck them together. You got to heat it up, right? To infuse it. <clears throat> yeah. If you just take that sauce and heat it up, does it then become an herb infused oil? I would oil? think. I don't know. Maybe it is an is urban cheese oil, and it's just been so involved? long since Bob's made his own fucking Roman burgers. He just doesn't remember the fact that it's set uh, infused. Not, I wouldn't. If if there was vinegar involved, I would want it to be optional. I've I've grown an appreciation. Vinegar is good. Vinegar. I don't like it. Still don't like it. Well, I'm glad that the sauce I made tonight. I almost went with vinegar instead of white wine, and I'm glad I want white wine. Well, that's really not that far off, though. Oh, I know, but I'm glad I want white wine. Hey, Steve, I think we yeah. should have our, each have our own pair of house shoes here. Yeah, I'm down with that. Can we all buy each other house shoes for Christmas, but make Christmas like next week? Uh, uh, let's, uh, let's talk about that some more <laughs> another time. <laughs> well, I tried. <laughs> we don't even I'm have to go through for Christmas. We can, just, we can just keep talking about what kind of pizzas we are <laughs> but hey uh welcome to buzzfeed saute man if i got to be a saute pizza man. i would 100 percent be a chicago style deep dish with minimal banana peppers like you gotta have some still but like i want like a fresh banana pepper i don't want a fucking pickled banana pepper. i love you know i love <clears throat> courtney and i get this place up by here called giannino's i've heard of it giannino's and, pizzeria yeah and I've heard the commercials. The the yeah. what we go what we go through uh, what we get is <clears throat> a large sausage, uh, pepperoni and banana pepper, mm-hmm. and the banana pe- peckers. <laughs> <laughs> I would get too excited, maybe. Uh. The banana peppers are like so pickled; they're they just got that that brine. Maybe, maybe like that's that. what I need to have. Is that I like a pickled banana pepper. It's so briny and so delicious. It like offsets. And there he goes. He ge- he's given himself the stigmata. Uh but yeah, it's- <laughs> I was going to say does this podcast just turn into watching me put roses back on their sticks? How do you feel about a sweet sauce? Uh, it's gotta okay be the right that. kind of sweet sauce. Like, fuck Angelina's sweet sauce. It's too sweet. Yeah. I want sweet and Romeo's. Spicy. Romeo's Pizza Hut used to have a kill, like the perfect sweet sauce. Their their big New Yorker had a different sauce. It was a sweet sauce, and it was like, is is New York known for their love of sweet I don't sauce? No, I'm not a big. I'm not a New Yorker kind of guy. I prefer a Chicago style. So a New, New York, York style pizza, you're supposed to fold, right? Well, it's thin and big. You're you're not supposed to fold it, I don't think. You're supposed to V it. Yeah, you're supposed to grasp it. Oh, I thought it was corner. like end to crust, like point to <laughs> crust fold. <laughs> like it's a, like you're making a pizza like a, diaper. <laughs> <laughs> a stick stick your legs uh, on through that. Did you know there's guy? a Giordano's in Columbus? No shit. I'm going With to Columbus tomorrow. Chicago deep dish pizza. I'm going through Chicago tomorrow. Chicago. I'm going through Columbus tomorrow. 
On your way to Chicago? No, that would be way out of the way. Um, yeah, we uh, we got a take and bake from there the last time we were in the area. Right, maybe I'll pick one up on Sunday um, when I stop at Wolf's Ridge Brewing Company. Do they have a Do they have a chocolate porter or anything? What coffee stout? They've got a coffee cream ale. Ooh, which I have had before, <laughs> and it's fucking. It's the best coffee beer I've ever had. I kind of... Will you grab me one? Yeah. I don't want a bunch. I just want one. I think they sell them in four packs. Okay. Might be six packs. I'll share it with you if you want. Well, I just... I just... I like a... Like I said, I'm not drinking anymore, but I will have... Oh, like a sniff. Who's our guest next week? Do we have one? It's Ashley. Is she... uh, Okay. I was going to say, is she going to be in town? I meant to ask It's going to be virtual. (sighs) Um... Guys, I uh, I gotta tell you all something. What do we need you to love us? Do, do we need to turn off the lights for this? Do we need to turn off? I the might light? have fucked up. Do we need to pause the recording? No, it's okay. The internet should hear this. Uh, I started playing Factorio. Okay. Oh boy, you invent? Are uh, you and uh, Dylan can talk about that? Dylan plays Factorio. I think he has, or was it little Dave? <clears throat> It sounds like something. Um, day so I've only been play, playing the demo so far, but literally in the first like four levels of the demo, I think I have six hours of my life. You're it's, you're only playing the demo. <clears throat> well, I wanted to make sure, and you made sure. I don't know if it's a good idea if I should buy this game because it will take your time. It will take yeah. your life away. It's very very intricate and very tedious, and I fucking love it. Next week we'll be like, so Steve, what'd you do this week? Factorio. Factorio. <laughs> Inserters. So what the fuck is Factorio? Is this just like fucking? It's like a Sim City, but I think you a lot more in depth. Yeah. Well, there is no city. It, you're the only person. Is it like Civ? Yeah. Civ? But no, you're the only kind of. I guess you build a factory. So I think the goal is. I don't know because I've I've been playing the demo, which is like tutorial mode. So it's, it's like, like solar a lot smaller. Panels. So robots, I'm pretty sure that you're robots. John D. Rockefeller on Mars and your goal is to build a rocket to get home. I think I think you've told me about I this think game. that that's what I understand it as. I don't know if that's based in fact or not, but you start out and you've like got to mine some things and then you build a machine to do the mining and you've got to like use that material to make some stuff so then you build a machine to make the stuff and then it gets more and more complicated and more and more layers so of event, automation. it's eventually a man a man on top of his high throne watching machines make other machines yeah basically wait is this an idle game does it play while you're not playing um well yesterday don't tell me because i'll start fucking playing it yesterday that happened but <laughs> I don't know if that would be normal. And it only kind of happened because I had everything automated. I had one goal and I had everything working towards that goal. And I was like, oh, cool. I can just sit and watch it. Now, I already killed all the bad guys and like destroyed their spawns. So I had no more danger. Just let the machines do the thing. And eventually I will get to my goal. And like maybe three times I had to intervene because something was fucked up. I have poor automating abilities so far. I'm a rookie. Um, so it could be idle, but I don't think that that's how you would normally play it. Okay. It's very tedious. I've been playing an idle game for months. What are you playing? <laughs> oh, so you can't just like not play it and expect yeah, to see, that's, have things. I've been playing an idle game for yeah, months. Yeah, I think it's pretty hands-on. That's that's good. I won't play yeah, it. Yeah, there, there is some AFK ability. Like away from uh-huh. keyboard, ah, uh-huh. but I don't think that that's generally the idea of the game. Uh-huh. I think it's very, it's very much a micromanagement game. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm not. I need that. more efficiency. Okay, this isn't working very well. I'm going to tear this down and rebuild it to be. More I'd probably efficient. actually get really into it and lose my life, but <clears throat> it's a problem that involves spending money, and I don't spend money on things that I want. I spend money on things that I want. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to play this so bad over uh, shutdown because I was off work for a few weeks, and I couldn't. It wouldn't play on my computer. Is that why you got a new computer? But no, no but it's part Steve, of it. Steve, you bought a new computer <laughs> just to play Factorio? Maybe. Mm-hmm. It's nice. Okay, I like it. I mean, if I were into that game, it looks fun. You should just play Sim Town. 
Um, so I <laughs> play SimTown '94. <94. laughs> I Sim also yeah. I also got um, for the Super Nintendo <laughs> City Skylines. Okay, but I haven't got into that yet. It's supposed to is. be like the modern. It's building. Of it's Sim building City. a futuristic city. Hmm. Even though Sim City and City Skylines both came out at the same time, like a new Sim City did. Um, I guess it wasn't that well reviewed, but Skylines more like, was good. More like Sim Shitty, am I right? <laughs> Uh, to our dedicated listeners, we really appreciate you. You mean a lot to I, us. I'm not sure we still have dedicated listeners. Like, even the people who listen regularly don't even talk to us about the podcast anymore. Well, that's because we're all friends here. Well, it's because they all fucking hate us, and they regret getting addicted to our podcast. I hope that's not true. I hope it is true. Hey. Okay, you know what? I kind of hope it is true, too. That'd be pretty <laughs> wild. I resent being your friend when you're on the podcast. <laughs> like, damn it, I really like listening to you, but I fucking hate that I have to listen to you. Actually, I hate listening to the podcast now. I don't listen. I cannot listen to it. I can't stand this podcast. Ouch. It's not It's not bad. It's not good. Well, it's, it's fine. It's Okay. It's acceptable. It's not Rover's Morning Glory. I can tell you that. Well, that's good. We're not we saying big old milkers. We had that conversation not too long yeah. ago. Oh, that. And we, I think that was important. That we need yeah. to be Rover's Morning Glory. I will not. No, we need because to I not would, be Rover's. Morning I said Glory. I would quit the podcast if it ever got. To I that. would quit the podcast. I think the podcast would quit us all. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> well, that, that tastes a like, little Rover like. I smelled that. Did you? Yeah. What did it smell like? Miller Light. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, like hey, it's here. All right. It's Miller time, baby. Yep. Yep. I got a job, guys. Fuck yeah, you did. OBC, baby. So, is that what it is? Yes. No. Delete that out. Delete that out. No. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's fine. I'll get lost in the fucking somewhere. So, uh,. What's the time on that? You've learned very well to do the things that you got to do. It's like 27, 26, 55. I feel like that's a, that's a good, you know, statement as for they're standing behind exactly what they offer people. Yeah. Well, and that's part of the reason I got the job is they said, well, you're a fucking success story. We like that you've been here, that you've done this. Well, congratulations. You know. Yeah. And, you Are you know. happy about the job? Yeah, I'm a little nervous. Okay. Um, and I was worried about the whole idea of, you know, if you're going to sell something, you have to believe in it. Right. If not, you're never going to fucking, you know. And during my first interview, I was, I had the director convince me that I could stand behind this because while I am not for for-profit schools i can understand that this is a different environment than a not-for-profit school and this school isn't for people who succeed in those environments this is for people who don't succeed this is the hilltop fucking school (laughs) for adults is this part of your sales pitch no (laughs) you know it's you know, people who don't succeed in a regular classroom environment, they have somewhere that they can go and succeed. And yes, it's for profit. But I'm not in it for the for profit part. I'm in it to help people change their lives. Oh, yeah. Bobby's drinking the Kool-Aid. Somebody's got to do I it. I hope right? it tastes good, pal. It does. Is that electric blue <laughs> lemonade? Hey, it helped. It's helping. It it did help me change my life. Yeah. So, um, and I'm just giving you yeah. a hard time about the Kool Aid. I hope you understand. Well, regardless, I am drinking it, and <laughs> it does taste good. Very cool. Very what, cool. They're what, paying uh, me well. Do you have a start date? Monday. Nice. nice. Yeah. Okay, so you got a nice week off of work. Yeah. Fuck I was me. unemployed for like half a work day. Okay. Very cool. So I'll fucking. I think that's it. the way that everybody wants it to be. Like, fuck. Eh, I'll take a week, get some shit done, hang out. You know who's real good at that? Johnny B. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker will get fired from a job and have a job later, like an hour later. And I don't understand how he does it. 
Do you think uh, we could have him on the pod? 